Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone Good afternoon Miss Alright, before we start our class today, let's pray together Pray again Finish Alright, uh, I will check your attendance first If I call your name, you can say present or I'm here Do you get it? Yes, yes. yes. Alright Anggita Megan Bali I'm here Andriani Present Nira Puji Present Dini I'm here Aisha Where is Aisha? Uh, I think he's absent today yes. oh. Alright uh, uh, Let's start our class today ya uh, Have you ever read a biography of hero or scientist? Yes. yes. All right. And have you read someone? I mean, have you read someone's story or someone's experience? Yes. 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 Yeah. It means you are reading recounted. And our today's material is also about recounted, as you can see on the slide. And anyone knows what is recounted? Yeah. No. no. All right. Uh, and I'm going to give an explanation about uh, recontext. Okay. The first is what is recontext? Recontext is a text that recalls events or experience in the past. Remember, yeah, just events or experience in the past. It can be personal. Factual and also imaginative. What is personal? Personal is our own experience, and factual is events that really happened. Uh, for example, like biography, and also the reports of police, crime, and etc. And the last one is imaginative. Imaginative is imaginative events, uh, like fantasy, uh, story fantasy. Alright, uh, the next is about the genetic structure of recontext. There are three genetic structure of recontext. As you can see on, on the slide, the first one is orientation, the second is events, and the last one is reorientation. What is orientation? Orientation describes the background of events that you are recalling. It usually introduces uh, the setting characters and also time period. So it uh, it usually uh, the place is usually uh, at the beginning of the text. And the second is events. What is events? The series of events that happened in the past uh, in a chronological order. Uh, in events how the story happened and also what the characters have done in, in the text and the last is about reorientation what is reorientation? reorientation uh, we can say it's uh, like summary of the text or what will what uh, what what will be happen in the end of the text all right uh, after we know the general structure of the context so i have the example of Recount text about the personal recount. So let's analyze the genetic structure of this text. The title is Vacation to the Beach, and this text is consists of three paragraphs. So this is the first paragraph, the second paragraph, and the last paragraph. Uh, who wants to try to read the first paragraph? Raise your hand, please. All right, Ariani, please. Last week. I and my friends went to the beach after school. We used public transportation. We reached the beach at 4 p.m. The beach was beautiful and clean. All right, good job. And uh, the second paragraph, I think it is uh, can can be read by two students. Yeah, who wants to read the second paragraph? Me. All right, Anita, you can read uh, from this uh, until. Until this, please. At the beach, it was fun. 
We play football in the coastline. After that, we build a castle from sand. In the night, we made one fire together. All right. Uh, the next we are going to try to continue the second part of our plan. Kita. Me. Let's play Mira. We roasted fishes and squids. Then we ate them. In the midnight, it was time to share our story, scary stories. One by one, we told our story. All right. Uh, the last part up. Want to try? Yes, the one. As the morning, we went home. It was a moment I never forgot. Okay, good job, everyone. Uh, now let's analyze uh, this text, uh, which includes uh, which part. It includes uh, the orientation. Anyone else want to try? Raise your hands. Um, the first paragraph. Okay, good job. And the next beginning chapter is reorientation. Which part includes reorient? Uh, I'm so sorry. The second generic structure is events. I'm sorry. Uh, which part includes uh, events? Anyone else? Want to try? Raise your hand, please. The second part? The second? The second paragraph. All right. Good job. Great. Uh, and the last generic structure is reorientation. So, the reorientation is? The last paragraph, at the morning we went home, it was a moment I never forgot. Uh, guys, uh, did you get it? Understand? Yes. 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 Alright. Uh, any question about generic structure of this text? Mm, I think uh, may I? Yes, please. Is it possible if the reorientation was in the second paragraph or? Uh, the second, the event is in the last paragraph. Is it possible? Please? I think no. Why? Because uh, we can uh, what is it? Memurutkan. So this generic structure is berurutan ya. So the first is orientation. It is like pengenalan, pengenalan about this text. And the second paragraph is events. Event itu is like chronology. Urutan peristiwa itu terjadi. Jadi uh, uh, how how the story happened or uh, what the character have done in this text and this, and the last one is reorientation it is like a summary summary yes do you get it yes thank you all right good uh, good uh, questions okay let's move to the last part is about oh I'm sorry this is the result of uh, our anal analysis yeah orientation, events, and reorientation. Okay, the last one is about the language features of three contexts. What are they? All right, the first one is past tense. We contact using past tense. Why? Why we contact uh, using past tense? Because uh, we contact, we retell. Retell, remember, the keyword is retell. So we retell an event or experience in the past. So, of course, we use uh, past tense. Remember the formula of past tense? Uh, subject, for to, and also uh, object. For example, I went to the beach. I here is subject, when here is for to, that refer to past tense, and to the beach is uh, a form of place. And the second is adverb of time and adverb of place. And it is to express the place and time of the events. For example, last week at the beach, Yogyakarta, and so on. And the next is action verb. Yeah, like, uh, the, the contact is used action verb. Uh, the, uh, what is it? Yang, jadi, Kata kerja yang benar-benar dilakukan oleh uh, si writer atau si partisipan dalam teks tersebut. And the last, uh, for example, the soldier took the gun and fired the crime on his foot. To here is action verb and also fired, also action verb. And 
and last is conjunction and time connectives. The conjunction and time connectives here is two sequence events. For example, first, then, and so after that, before, when, at, at last, finally, and etc. And now, uh, I have uh, still the same example as previous. It is still about the vacation to the beach, but let's analyze uh, the language features of this text. Uh, what is it? Uh, who can find uh, the word that we for past tense in this text? Anyone? Past tense, the word past tense in this text. Past tense, use verb to. When? When? Good job! And then? Played. Played? Good job! And then? Another? Verb to. Use verb to. In this text? Build. Build. Okay, great. Uh, I think not, yeah, about uh, past. Uh, to past tense. So the next is which which part is refer uh, the adverb of time last week. Okay, great. Uh, adverb of place. Adverb of place. Maybe at the beach. Okay, great. And then what is it? A uh, conjunction. Conjunction of this text. Can you find it after that? Okay, good job. And then action verb, action verb of this, of this text. Where is it? Can you find it? When? When? Okay. I think uh, the thing, uh, the action verb, and also the 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 verb that used in the past tense is the same. Yeah. Use uh, verb two, and also we can find action verb uh, in this text. You know, in the formula of verb two. Uh, any question about? This analysis about the language features? No. No? Okay. So, this is the result. The green here is adverb of time. And also, here is adverb of time. And and the, the word that I use, the red color, is refers to what is it? Action of and also past time. And the last <coughs> is about uh, the blue is about. Conjunction. All right. Uh, any question about these materials? No. No, I think it's clear. All right. Uh, if no question, uh, before I uh, before I end this meeting, uh, I have uh, something for you all, guys. Uh, I will give you a task. Uh, the task is you have to make. Uh, a personal recount about unforgettable moment, yeah. And for more detailed instruction, I will share it tonight on the, on the Google Classroom, yeah. So you can check it uh, later. And so for the next meeting, we will we still discuss about the context to discuss your task, yeah, about personal experience. So I think uh, enough here for today. Thank you for your nice participation. I'm so sorry if there are so many mistakes. And the last I say, Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.